What's good people, it's Ocean here. Welcome back to my channel, welcome to the video. One problem I had when I started making beats was that I used to make decent melodies, I used to make good melodies, but the drums that I put on top of it was just not that great. And I know as a beginner, sometimes it can be difficult to make drums that just knock, drums that smack, drums that sound sick. So in this video, I wanna show you guys five ways how to instantly improve your drum patterns, how to up your drum game. When you do these five things, you're just gonna see a massive improvement in your drums. I do these five things often with my beats. If you've seen some of my videos before, then you've probably seen me do a lot of these things before. But yeah, I'm gonna be showing you the five ways that once you do this, it's gonna sound a lot better. But before I get into it, hit that subscribe button right now and join the family. And if you haven't done so already, hit that bell notification right now. So every single time I post a video, you get a notification and you won't miss another one. And with that being said, let's get into these five ways. Ocean gang go drown. I've got a beat here that I've started making, but I haven't finished it. There's many things that I want to do to this to make these drums a lot better. Right now I've got the snare, I've got the hi-hats, I've got the kicks, and I've also got an 808 in there and the melodies. But I still need to add a few more things. So here's what we're working with so far. I just play the melodies. a guitar beat, something very dreamy, and then we've got the clap, the hi-hats, the kick, and then the 808. I'm going to be building from there, I'm going to be doing a few tweaks to the drums to make it a lot better. So my tip number one when it comes to upping your drum gain, making your drum sound better, is by making it sound a bit more human by adding in some reverb. So right now I'm going to go to my bus and send it to bus 3 and I'm going to open up just some stock reverb in Logic Pro X and I'm going to leave the setting as it is and I'm just going to up it slightly. So now it sounds a bit more atmospheric. It doesn't sound so rigid. So together. And I'm also going to add some reverb into the hi-hats as well. Just a touch. So now it sounds a bit different. It sounds a lot more human. The main reason why I like to add just a touch, a bit of reverb to my snares in particular is because it just makes it sound a bit more spacey, a bit more atmospheric. And it also makes the sound sound a lot more full in the beat. So before it, it kind of sounds a bit stale, a bit dry. Let me just turn off the reverb so you can hear it. I just play snare and the hi-hat. And then now once we add some reverb, you know, it sounds a lot more emotional. It just sounds a lot more full in the beat. Number two, the second thing that I do to make my drum patterns a lot better is to do this thing right here. So as you can see, my hi-hats are perfectly quantized to the end of the note. I can press Q and it won't even move because it's perfect. But instead, I don't want it to sound so robotic and so rigid. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna command A to control everything. I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna move it slightly off beat, but not too much, just a touch. So right there. So now if I play it, you can hear the difference now. You might be thinking, why would you move it off time? If you put it on time, it's gonna sound better, right? But not always, sometimes when you move your hi-hats, and you could do this with the snares and other things too, but I do it for the hi-hats. When you move the hi-hats slightly off center, it sounds a bit more human and less robotic. And it gives it a nice feeling to the beat. Step number three to make your drums a lot more interesting is to pitch your sounds. So I've got my hi-hats open here. I've got a few rolls in there, but everything is the same note. Everything is just the same. It sounds good, but we can make it a bit better. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna listen to my hi-hats and find a place where I can change up the pitches. So I like that as the pattern. 
I pulled down a few of the hi hats into a lower note, pull this one a bit further. I think I might just. I think I'm going to split the hi hats here. And I'm going to drag this over so the pattern is the same. So this is what we have now. With the hi-hats pitched, we have some nice variation. Just gives the beat a different feeling. It doesn't sound so samey. Step number four to improving your drum patterns is that you need to add in some perks, add in some more sounds. So right now I've got the snare, the hi-hat and the kick. And we need to spice this up. We need to throw in a few more perks just to add some more bounce. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. The first perk I wanna add in is, I just wanna add in that, that typical track bounce. It's like, so I think I'm going to do that by adding in a snare, actually. And I'm going to turn this right down. I think that works. So I drag these in there. And one thing I want to do is actually use my tip number one, which is adding some reverb. So I'm going to send it to the bus, drag some up. So I think that works. I'm also going to add in another perk as well. And then I'm also going to change up the pitch here. So I like that part for the first two bars and then I'll switch it up. Something like that. And then the last sound I'm gonna add in here as well is an open hat. Let me turn that down. So I think that works now. We've added in some perks to give it a bit more bounce, a bit more variation. It's not so boring now. It's not just the kick and the snare. We've added in a few different elements. And then the last thing that I'm going to do to make my drums a bit better is I'm actually going to EQ it out. So basically think of it as a, as a spectrum. The lower end, you're going to have your kicks, which are going to be the bassy range. And then on the higher end, you're going to have your hi-hats. And basically I'm just going to EQ it so the hi-hats stay high, the kicks stay there the snares are a bit more to the high end and just give the, the sound space to breathe. So for the kick, I'm just going to take out a touch of low end so it doesn't clash with the 808 too much. I'm going to raise it round 100 to 200 to punch through. And then for the hi-hats, what I'm going to do is actually take out all that low end. But I don't want to change up the sound too much. So let me not cut it too much on the high end. Do the same thing for the snares. Let me raise it around here. I think I'm gonna EQ the perk as well. The perk is going to be more in the mid-range. All the drums now have got space to breathe, everything's sounding good. Now all together, the drums plus the melody sound something like this. So yeah, those are my five ways on how to instantly improve your drum patterns. One, you can add in some reverb to make it sound a bit more atmospheric, a bit more human. Two, make the drum sounds, in particular the hi-hats, make them a touch, just a touch, a smidgen off beat. So again, it sounds a bit more human. Three, change the pitches, change up the pitches of your sounds. Four, add in some perks, add in some variation right there. 
and then number five EQ the drum so you, every sound has some space. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helps you improve and up your drum game patterns. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And yeah, shout out this person from the last video. Thanks for commenting, I appreciate your comment. And yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the future.